kind of like building in here. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. You got the shelves. You got the stuff. Hey, I'm Mo. I have seen a few videos of the booktube spin tag. I guess it's a tag. It's kind of a tag. It's kind of a readathon. It was originally created by Rick McDonald, although I don't think that's how you pronounce his name. It was funny because I saw it pop up and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. I'll watch that video. And then I didn't. But then I would see like another booktuber that I like do it and then another booktuber that I like do it. And so finally this morning I sat down to watch the videos and I'm glad I did watch those videos when I did because Rick McDonald created this tag that I guess he also did from like a book blog or something like that where you choose 20 books from your TBR. You number them 1 through 20 and then he spins a wheel that's where the spin comes in and whatever number that wheel lands upon is the book that you have to read so he started this tag on like January 22nd 2021 and he's spinning the wheel on January 31st and as I'm filming this it's January 29th I'm glad that I watched all those videos so that I could participate in the booktube spin like I said you pick 20 books from your TBR. He suggests grouping your books into different kind of categories and kind of the point of the booktube spin is to not only read your existing TBR and shop your shelves but to also explore books that you might be intimidated by, genres that you might not normally gravitate towards, by reading a book that might be a little bit unexpected. So I have split mine into a bunch of different categories. First category is intimidating books. I kind of picked a mix of of books that I've been wanting to read on my TBR but I'm a little bit intimidated by. The first book is P.D. James' The Private Patient. Kind of signals like the last of the P.D. James. Even though I have other P.D. James books I've never read, this one feels intimidating because it's the last one. Number two on my list is The Big Bang by David Bowman. David Bowman wrote one of my all-time favorite books, Bunny Modern, it's up there. When I went to see if I could find a, a used copy of it, I realized that he died. And this was actually published posthumously. It's also quite long, it's like almost 600 pages, and you know me, I don't like long books, but he's such a brilliant writer and I love Bunny Modern so much that I am really interested to see what this book will be like. Number three on my list and the next book in my intimidating books category is Be Here Now by Ram Dass. I've been wanting to read this one for a while and it's just a weird book and so it's kind of intimidating to read. It has like all these, I gotta put these down, it has all these different kinds of writing so it's like kind of more traditional very untraditional. Book number four and the last book for my intimidating reads category is The Witches of Eastwick by John Updike. I think I started reading this book in 2020. I only got about 40 pages in and it's just weird and hard to read. I love the movie uh, but it's very different so I'm interested to pick this up but it is intimidating in the way that it's written. The next category is like modern classics. So one modern classic that I've been dying to read but I haven't like gotten into every time I've picked it up is Our Man in Havana by Graham Greene and I'm really excited to get to this one. This one is number five on my booktube spin. I have The Pearl and the Red Pony by John Steinbeck. I like Steinbeck's work but it sometimes takes me a while to get into them so this I'm only going to count The Pearl and The Pearl will be number six on my booktube spin. Number seven on my booktube spin is going to be <laughs> Number seven on my booktube spin is going to be Robert Heinlein's Starship Troopers. I've had this one in my basement books for a while and I keep picking it up and just not reading it. So if I get number seven, I will read this one. Number eight is P.G. Woodhouse's Carry On Jeeves. I started this in 2020 and I DNF'd it just because I was reading other things as well and I would love to finish this. So if I get number eight, I will read Carry On Jeeves. My next category is Mysteries. And the first mystery on my list I don't actually own a physical copy of, but I've been working my way through the Miss Marple series, and I know I said I would take a break from Miss Marple, but I'm getting the hankering to read Miss Marple again, so I put the fourth book 
or fifth, depending on who you talk to, the fourth novel of the Miss Marple series, which is A Murder is Announced on at number nine. <laughs> well, that was a big thing. Oh. At number 10, I have The Maltese Falcon by Dashiell Hammett. At number 11, I have Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. At number 12, I have this mystery set on the Jersey Shore, Mad Mouse. My next booktube spin category is nonfiction, and at number 13, I have Mr. Wilson's Cabinet of Wonders. Number 14 and nonfiction is Salt by Mark Kurlansky. Number 15, a nonfiction by Eric Larson, Dead Week. Number 16 is the second book of The Good Life by Scott and Helen Nearing. And then my last category in the last four books for the booktube spin is like either short story collections or collected works. Number 17 is The Salmon of Doubt by Douglas Adams. This is a collection of all his like unfinished writing. It has some short stories. It has some of his last works that were unfinished um, at his death. Flappers and Philosophers for number 18. This is by F. Scott Fitzgerald and it's um, short stories. I love The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby is one of my all-time favorite books. I've only read that by F. Scott Fitzgerald, so I would love to read this book. Number 19 is Japanese Fairy Tales, edited by Philip Smith. This is just a really short, actually I think it's a children's classic um, of a bunch of Japanese short stories. And lastly, at number 20, I have Ernest Hemingway's The Snows of Kilimanjaro. This is just a book of short stories. So all these books are books that I had on my TBR that I wanted to get to at some point. Some of them were intimidating, some of them were right in my wheelhouse, and some of them were things that I've been trying to get to but I haven't or that I started and then never finished. Rick will announce the number. He'll spin the wheel and announce the number on January 31st, so I will link all his videos below, and the book that corresponds to that number will be the book that I read. When January 1st happens, I'll try to put that in the description box as well. Anyone who has books that they already own and want to read in 2021 should definitely make a list of 20 and do the booktube spin. The length of time that you have to read the book is from January 31st to March 31st, so he's given you a lot of time to be able to read long books, intimidating books, to read your current TBR and add this to your March TBR, you know, to really get it done and what I'm hoping is that after this first spin and after March 31st he'll do another spin and you'll be able to keep picking books. If you participate in the booktube spin or if you have any of the books that I mentioned that you want to read along with me, number them the same number, easy buzzy read, you know what I mean? Like no thought, somebody else picks it for you. Perfect. I love that. No decision fatigue here. We got it covered. Books. Look at all these books. There's so many. I made a whole shelf on my TBR shelf. One day when I get this room finished, I'll um, I'll show you, but it's totally not finished yet. Look at P.D. James. What a sweetie. What a sweet old lady she is. Oh my god, so cute. Thanks so much. Bye.